trying to let you go I went out all alone Took everything I own Nothing to make me turn around I watched the sky grow dark Learned names of all the stars Woke up to the sound of cars Saying goodbye to one more town Sometimes your thoughts go wrong Maybe I just belong Right here where I was running from
tree we grew up too fast and crashed before we knew it.
Good afternoon. My name is Faisa Haider and I'm the President of Student Council. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance and remain standing for our concert band's presentation of our national anthem under the direction of Mr. Eric Gross. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. No, 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 no. Oh, oh, sorry, my fault. Don't be, please, please remain standing for the national anthem. And we need the senior chamber choir to please step over with Mr. Gross, Senior Chamber Choir. No rush, take your time. Please be seated. Thank you, Faiza, Mr. Gross, and members of the Friel High School Concert Band and Chamber Choir. Good afternoon, families and friends of the graduates of the class of 2023. My name is John Hine. As an assistant principal here at Friel High School, it is my pleasure to be the first to welcome you to the 144th annual commencement exercises honoring Freehold High School class of 2023. Yeah. I would also like to welcome our honored guest present this evening, Mr. Michael Mendez, Director of Guidance and Operations for the Frio Regional High School District. <laughs> Dr. Shane Howell, Director of Curriculum Development for the Frio Regional High School District. <laughs> Ms. Amanda McCobb, Member of the Frio Regional Board of Education for our town. <laughs> Councilman George Schnur. Our principal, Dr. Lovetta Ross. <laughs> Assistant principal, Mr. Rodney Taylor. <laughs> Supervisor of extracurricular activities, Mr. Joshua Mel. <laughs> and our senior class advisor, Ms. Emily Whelan. I'd also like to uh, give a, have a round of applause for all the staff gathered up here tonight. At this time, I would like to introduce the president of the class of 2023, Mr. Ethan Levin. Yeah. 
<clears throat> As a language-based AI training model, I cannot assist you in writing your graduation speech. However, I can tell you some things you should do. Congratulate the student body. Congratulations, guys. We made it. <laughs> Say some graduation cliches. And it felt like just yesterday we walked these very halls just as little freshmen. Time really flies. Thank everyone who... Oh, I don't think I was supposed to be reading all that out loud. In all seriousness, guys, congratulations to the class of 2023. I'm sorry that I couldn't get someone cooler to say all this, like Bruce Springsteen or Ice Spice during the 100th year that this school has been standing, but I am truly proud of every single one of you. I can sincerely say that we made an impact on this school and its community for years to come. I mean, look at just a few of the things we have done in our short amount of time here. We brought back Bo's Got Talent International Day and created our first ever color run fundraiser. We've had major growth in athletic programs as well as clubs and seen what a school can be like when it is in its full glory. We've shown up in full numbers to school and sporting events and showed underclassmen that electric feeling you get when we are cheering on all that is Field Borough. Our class has created a legacy that will outlive us. I told myself I wasn't going to mention COVID, but I think there is something to actually be said about it. Every generation has their thing that they have lived through and will tell their kids about. I'm going to tell my kids I survived the time where Connie ran for president. <laughs> and I guess COVID as well. Our generation is living in a pivotal moment in history. Advances in technology and artificial intelligence, science and medicine, climate change, population growth and limitation of resources, political polarization and space exploration are just a few of the things that shape the world we are transitioning into. We are at the cusp of both greatness and reason for global concern. Our generation has been placed in a unique position to affect the course of the future of the world. And who knows? There's a good chance that one of us in this very room might be the next Elon Musk. Greatness awaits you. Just don't buy Twitter. <laughs> I'd like to acknowledge those that have had our backs and pushed us and got us to the stage. We'll take this off. Thank you to the administration and the PTSO. Your work behind the scenes to keep the school on top is appreciated. Thank you to the faculty and staff. We truly have the most passionate group of teachers and workers at this school. And the impact you guys have made on us, we will be forever grateful for. Thank you to the families for your constant support through the years. And lastly, to my class, thank you for making these four years something to remember forever. I urge you to face the future head on. Don't spend too much time worrying about the future. Or worry, but know that worrying is as effective as trying to pass Mr. Rambin's math class without a calculator. <laughs> Along the journey, remember to not be deterred by setbacks or by failure. Embrace new opportunities and take pride in what you do. For failure is not the opposite of success, but rather a stepping stone on the path to greatness. It's been a pleasure to be your president this year. Good luck on your journey ahead. And remember, the race is long, but in the end, it is only with yourself. In the wise words of Adam Sandler's Billy Madison, peace on out of here. Thank you, Ethan. Although you assemble here tonight, or today I should say, it is altogether fitting that we should acknowledge two of your classmates individually for their accomplishments. Keeping with the age-old tradition, we recognize the class valedictorian and salutatorian. Your salutatorian is the student in your class with the second highest grade point average earned over the past four years at Freehold High School. It is with great pleasure I introduce the salutatorian, Samuel Rodriguez, who will be attending Yale University, where he will be studying comparative literature. Good afternoon, everyone. Administration, distinguished faculty, honored guests, parents, friends, family, and most importantly, our esteemed graduates. I am so honored to stand here in front of you today. My name is Sam Rodriguez, and you'll soon find out it might have been a bit of a mistake for me to have this privilege. 
You see, I believe in the principle of comeuppance, of fair revenge. I want to reciprocate all the embarrassment I've gone through these past three years by asking three very important people to stand. First, my, my strong and kind mom, Lucy Carolina Castellano Rodriguez Alas, if she can stand. Second, my wise and stern father, Orlando Rodriguez. And finally, my brutally honest and confident sister, Juliana Rodriguez, or as she's known around the household, the Queen. <laughs> if you could clap for them a little bit louder, I would much appreciate that. <laughs> All right, thank you, thank you. Sé cuando vuelvo a mi casa, voy a tener unos chancletas en mi cuba. Pero, pero, it was, it was worth it. It was worth it. <laughs> anyway, so high school. High school, huh? High school. And my attempts to define what the experience has meant for me, I can only come up with different stories. Stories of success, of failure, of late nights procrastinating, of hanging out with friends, and everything else in between. But if you get to know me, the first thing you'll find out is that I love stories. I absolutely adore them. Yes, yes, I'm the student who will discuss how the monkey straw hat being yellow represents the loss of innocence. But I don't know, I think it's cool. A story can be this pocket of a person's life, painstakingly sewn together to make sure everything they want to say is said. To me, words are vessels given meaning by the author's experience, not defined by a dictionary, but instead by perceptions. With imagination, stories become metaphors that capture the reality they wish to see and the dreams of a world that could be. Experiencing a story for me is akin to having a conversation. It means listening. Striving to unravel, unravel the riddles of character, plot, and many more to understand the dreams and the life within. What's incredible to, what's incredible to me is how honest an author has to be to make an emotional impact. Stories require conviction, a willingness from the author to expose their soul to an audience. The author looks you in the eyes and asks, can you please understand me? They trust you to be empathetic and engage with that story. So with this context, and given the fact that I consider high school to be stories, I have a question for you, class of 2023. In the face of everything, do you trust in your own story? You see, what makes Burroughs so special is our diversity. No two students face the same challenges. I can remember only yesterday we walked in as little freshmen filled with hope and enthusiasm. The future one was on our doorstep, but then came COVID. <laughs> but that was enough on its own. However, there was still the endless pile of tests, quizzes, projects, homeworks, club activities, jobs, uh, endless conditioning, the list goes on and on. But we persevered. Not just that, we, fr we thrived. We found our own unique ways to move forward. Because of the, our difficult obstacles that we faced, we come out of high school with different understandings, different stories. It gets to the point where even as this one chapter of our life comes to a close, the next remains unwritten and unread in the book of life ahead of us. So how do we continue this story? We trust in the lessons learned throughout this chapter. True, high school may have been an isolated environment, but the person you all became will be fundamental, foundational to the person you will forever be. Trust in your identity to compel you onwards on your path. But how? You must find people. Find people you can be honest to. Find people you can be vulnerable around. Find people you can trust. Do not let them come, out to, you. Do not let them come to you, but rather earnestly seek them out. If you lose yourself, they will be the lights that guide you back to your path. Make sure you have lights of all color, of a rainbow of colors to have the support necessary for all the cha different challenges along the way, ensuring that the diversity found in Barrow follows you. But this, above all, to thine own self be true. These people will only connect with you when they see honesty, and it takes a courage to express this warm, kind vulnerability. But having been around all of you for the past four years, I am quite confident in your strength. I want to say uh, something to the people who have guided us through this chapter. To you, the educators and administrators who dealt with us both virtually and physically, trying your hardest to help us learn, thank you. To you, the guardians who provided a warm meal, wisdom, and some fun, if embarrassing times, thank you. To you, the friends, the siblings, and the friends who became siblings, who offered a shoulder when no one else would, thank you. To you, the light that guided us, whomever that may be, and taught us that to be vulnerable is to be human. Thank you. 
Class of 2023, I want to leave you with some lessons, some truths I trust in from my favorite stories. Remember that there isn't just one way to be great, that the small moments that you experience daily decide who you are when the big important choices come along, to take it easy sometimes and to have fun. You might fail along the way, but what matters is who you will be the day after. Remember that the precious golden truth is seen through empathy and compassion. It requires trust in each other and an understanding that a person's truth can be based on their feelings rather than objective reality. Remember that anywhere can be paradise. As long as the sun, the moon, and the earth exist, everything can be all right. After all, you will be alive, so there will be always the chance of happiness. I am so proud to stand alongside you all here today. This is the moment, class of 2023, and I believe in each and every one of you. Celebrate and move forward. I am so excited to see where each of your stories take you. Thank you. Thank you, Samuel. It is my pleasure to introduce Yael Spector as the valedictorian for the class of 2023. Yael yeah, will be attending Cornell University, where she'll be studying human biology, health, and society. Good afternoon, and thank you, administrators, supervisors, teachers, honored guests, and the class of 2023. <laughs> I am convinced there will be a time in the near future when I'll need to use the quadratic equation. Or perhaps I'll have to recall Newton's second law. When a stranger asks me to analyze the theme of a book, I'll be ready. By merely looking at our transcripts, it seems as though the lessons we have learned throughout high school are limited to those written in our textbooks. I do not believe that is the case. I am grateful to have been able to learn from not only the eight teachers listed each year on our schedules, but also the 309 teachers wearing blue and gold caps and gowns today. Unknowingly, we were all enrolled in an additional course. While there's no curriculum, syllabus, or AP exam to test what we learn from each other, it is the lessons learned from this course that will be imperative in our futures. Freshman year, there was a lot we did not know. That person walking past you in the hallway will become your best friend. That teacher you just introduced yourself to will change your life. That club or sport you just joined will feel like home. With so little known, we started to learn. Sophomore year, our bedrooms and kitchens became our classrooms and we learned from small boxes on a computer screen. After some trial and error, we learned how to correctly mute ourselves on Zoom. And during this year, I learned to be extremely grateful for my circumstances. Junior year, we were back to learning in person. I learned as much from the loudest person in the room as I did from the quietest. As our teachers taught physics, math, and English, they also taught empathy and respect and shared their experiences. These lessons extended onto the borough sports fields, which hold countless memories, lessons, and potholes. Shout out to Coach Biz for everything you've taught me. And thank you to the referee who taught me about ramifications. That yellow card was definitely my bad. From conversations with my peers, I learned that I truly never know what someone else is going through and the few hours we see each other in school is a mere glimpse into our lives. Senior year, I learned the most. I learned the impact of finding your people and spending time with those people who love and support you unconditionally. Although this lesson may not be quite as useful, during Senior Assassin, I learned if a person is ever trying to shoot me with a water gun at 6 a.m., I can run away through my backyard. Watching the International Day performances, by the way, you all killed it, I learned the beauty of the diverse cultures and traditions we each bring into the school. On prom night, I learned 
that I should probably learn how to dance. Mr. Ramdine, you definitely outdanced me on the dance floor. But I also learned how lucky I was to be surrounded by people I was not ashamed to dance in front of. Family members of the class of 2023, thank you for all you have done. Mom and Abba, there are no words to describe how much you have taught me. So the next time your parents or guardians question your GPA, let them know the school has not added in the credits you have earned from this irreplaceable course. While we are about to graduate high school, we will never graduate from this course. Wherever the future takes you, I hope you continue learning from those around you. I will certainly keep the quadratic equation, Newton's second law, and themes from books in the back of my mind. But those lessons cannot begin to compare to the wisdom and memories I have gained from all of you. Class of 2023, we did it. Have a great summer. Thank you, Yale. At this time, I'd like to welcome our principal, Dr. Lovetta Ross, to the podium. Good evening, Mr. Mendez, Dr. Howell, Ms. Cobb, Councilman Schnur, distinguished guests, parents, guardians, family, Freehold High School supervisors, and teachers, and especially the class of 23. It is an honor to stand before you today to celebrate the 144th commencement of Freehold High School. Let's keep praying that it doesn't rain. My charge tonight is to share the accomplishments of this amazing class. But in doing so, I would like to take the graduates down memory lane. Because as Dr. Seuss once said, sometimes you will never know the value of a moment until it becomes a memory. Graduates, the moment you entered Freehold High School, September 2019, you began the transition into being a high school student. This year was your year to plant your roots into the deep traditions of our school. But little did you know that your freshman year of traditions in this school would end in March, leaving you with many questions and uncertainties. There was nothing traditional about the moments spent in your sophomore year. Some came to school every other day and others attended school on a screen. Those that came to school completed the COVID questionnaire and walked through the temperature check room machines. Remember those? A semblance of normalcy came back in junior year with the resurgence of traditional high school moments. Fans were allowed to attend games. Homecoming activities were back. Clubs were meeting in person and activities were scheduled. We wore masks for part of the year, but we were able to enjoy the rich traditions at the borough, precious moments at the borough. So now we're at senior year. Senior year for you began in, the, began in the same manner as your freshman year, with the moments spent in the pandemic becoming a distant memory. So let's look at your accomplishments. To begin, the class of 2023 continued various community service projects, including raising money for various organizations, working with special needs students, working with the local food pantry program, just to name a few. The class of 2023 was awarded $8,131,936 in scholarships and grants that will help aid in their college education. Five members of the class of 2023 
will have decided to serve our country in the military. I would like to recognize these graduates. Please stand to be recognized. Michael Frezza. <laughs> Stephanie Morales Mello. Edwin Perez. Francisco Ramos Morales. Anthony Rivera. In addition to those that were just recognized, Anat Sabata was accepted and commissioned to West Point Military Academy. We thank all of you in advance for your personal sacrifice and service to our country. In continuing, 252 of you have decided that your next chapter will be formal education in our fine colleges and universities right here in the state of New Jersey to those across the country, including technical schools, two-year schools, the Ivies, Cornell and Yale, to be specific, and various HBCUs. We celebrate you in advance for your commitment to education. Then there are others who have decided to take a gap year or go right into the workforce. We wish you much success as you pursue your chosen path. I want to thank you parents and guardians for trusting us with the education of your children and bearing with us over the years with the many changes you have had to endure. Graduates, your teachers are all here today because they care for you and want to celebrate you at this time. They would not let, want to let this day go by without supporting you at this event. In closing, I would like to leave you with the words of one of my favorite actors, Chadwick Boseman. Whatever you choose for your career path, remember the struggles along the way. They were only meant to shape you for your purpose. Congratulations, class of 2023. The Burrow family is proud of all that you've done and all the great things you will do. I now invite Dr. Shana Howell to the podium to certify the class of 2023. Okay. On behalf of the Board of Education and Superintendent of Schools, it is my pleasure to congratulate the members of the class of 2023, and we are so proud to celebrate this special occasion with all of you. We especially thank the hard work and dedication of Dr. Ross and the entire Freehold High School faculty and staff. Thank you for providing the support, the guidance, and the leadership that has fostered the success of our graduates. It is now my honor to confirm that the members of the graduating class of 2023 here assembled have fulfilled all requirements for graduation in accordance with New Jersey Department of Education statute and regulation, as well as the requirements of the Freehold Regional High School District, and are therefore eligible to receive their high school diplomas. I now certify the class of 2023. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Howell. The diplomas this evening will be awarded by Principal Dr. Loretta Ross and myself. We will be assisted by Mr. Mail and Mr. Taylor and our senior class officers. I will begin first with the presentation of the diplomas for those students on the dais. Valedictorian, Yael Spector. <laughs> Salutatorian, Samuel Rodriguez. Got a lot of swag. 
senior class president, Ethan Max Levin. <laughs> senior class vice president, Joseph Christian Berryman. Student Council President, Fiza Heider. And Student Council Officer, Sophia D'Antonio. I'd like to now call to this podium, Ms. D'Antonio. And we'll begin the awarding of the diplomas. Hi, everyone. <laughs> Abdallah Abdallah. <laughs> Do I say it? Evan LaPointe. Oh, my God, that's so loud. Nana Abraham. Julia La Rosa, Jessica Evelyn Adamo, Zachary Brian Larson, Rebecca L. Aguayo, Abigail LaBoyce, Marlene Abron Castaneda, Thomas Levcha, Shauna D. Allen, Hannah Maya Levine. Robert Anthony Amante, Luke Anthony Lichardi, Taylor Grace Amante, Tess Elizabeth Dakota Liberman, Edgar Amaro, Andrew James Locker, Michael John Ambriani, Samaya Cho Marie Long, Jake Smith, Alexis Lopez Hernandez. You're at Young A. Shayla Lopez Matias. Alexander James Angus. JD M. Lopez. Anthony Antico. Alexander Lopez Vivas. Marcel Ervantinos. Brandon Lou. Jesse Adam Archer. Danielle Marie Lynch. Amelia Arjun. Jordan Lynn Lynch. Adam Hassan. Juan Antico Manzano. Ryan W. Atkinson. Chiara Manzano. Joanna Marie Amish. Jennifer Manzano Lopez. John Petito. Kenny Marin. Gabrielle Hope. Mariano, Emma Lily Marinaccio, Miranda Leadbetter, Dominic Michael Marcinelli, Christopher J. Barna, Ashley Martinez, Henry Baragon Melendez, Emily Martinez, Gabriel Bartra, Nayeli Martinez, Craig Barnsley, Come on, Chris. Yeah. Lisa Marie D. Bellinas. I tried. Do you want me to say it again? Emily Martinez. Erica Benitez Anagon. Nayeli Martinez. Leticia Benitez Quado. Julia and Mascolo. Anthony Berardi. Samantha Abigail Matiscoff. Megan Chen. Kieran Jamal McLean. Ashley Bolanos Yahudo. Ethan Malkio. Yeah! Brian Thomas Townsend. Stephanie Mulatto.
Joshua Berger, Kate Mendoza, Joshua Berner, Angela Messina, Michael Bianchi, Jillian Grace Mealy, Shamaya Billingsley Oglesby, Jesse Miguel. Jillian Bingham, Joseph John McCookie the Third, Michael Joseph Bessaya, Brooke, Brooke Leah Milioti, Arjun Blada, Jessica Milito, Jonathan Bopp, Hunter Jaden Miller, Emily Bowers, Christopher B. Morales, Colin W. Brady, Stephanie Morales Mello, Julia Burns, Jesus Morales Mexicitla, Jessica Barbara Morales, David Morales Perez, Marielle M. Buffino, Nicole Moran, Julian Rose Butch, Anaja Samina Myers, Diana Cabrera, Lauren Amy Maggie, Zachary Kakapelli, Serena Nakfi, Mantis Kakiopo, Gianna Nardone, Norma Kahigas, Vanessa Neary, Jaslyn Gwyneth Calixo, Kyle M. Nguyen, Kayleen Calva Marino, Dylan H. Nicolo, Gabrielle Camargo, Ryan Ocheski, Malachi Cancel, Dulce M. Ordinas, Nicholas Calazaro, Francis Thomas Orlando. Alexis Cardozo Ponce. Luis Francisco Ortiz Jr. Amy Francine Castillo. Ali Osman. Joanna Castillo Cardozo. Jamie Lynn Odero. Felix Castro Diaz. Connor Shim Owens. Aiden Casucci, Jose E. Pachesco, Chelsea Cervantes, Lauren Page, Sophia Cervantes, Riley Nicole Pascal, Irene Chen, Molly Patel, Luke Edward Christ Christie. Krishna Patel, Destiny Marie Claudio, Sean R. Patel, Caroline Emily Clinton, Rohan Papa, Kyle Lee Cobb, Jimena Paz Peregrina, Kevin Felipe Colado Jr., Edwin Perez, Sebastian Moses Colmunar, Aaron Perez, Jake Thomas Conklin, Luke Petrella, Michael Connolly, Gianna Catherine Petrillo, Dylan Conti, Jordana Joe Pont, Cameron Coons. Angela Principato, Chastity Coons, <laughs> Catherine Rose Puherick, Jennifer Cruz Mejia, Mikhail Perswani, 
Belinda, Quack Laqua, Tashua, Peyton, Quinn, Estefani, Quilado, Jose, A. Racine. Happy birthday, by the way. Jennifer Quattle, <laughs> Madison Mayo Romero, <laughs> Alex Michael D'Antonio, <laughs> Edgar Ramos Rodriguez, <laughs> Elizabeth D'Antonio, <laughs> Francisco Ramos Morales, <laughs> Claudia Ray. Stephanie Reyes Oroza. Mikael Kwan Davis. Emily Richards. Michael DeFalco. Brian Rewald. Angel Lewis De Jesus. Alyssa Ripberg. Manuel Delgado Jr. Anthony Rivera, Manuel Delgado Tilapia, Sandra Rivera, Julia DiMairo, Tahira Rizvi, Aiden Denham, Jennifer Robles, Samantha Doubt, Alonix Rodriguez Rivera, Xavier Hollis Dudiak, Maria Romero Ramirez, Jada Durant Martin, Gustavo Romalo Rosas, Megan Riley Genshu, John Marco Ruiz Fierro, Hannah Epen, Anan Sabata, Chuck Ulibam Alexander Echizona. Andrew Sacramento Ramirez, Aiden Edwards, Paki Sani, Ramin Etesham, Eric W. Salas Mora, Giovanni Falcone, CJ Sandor, Raymond Nicholas Feliciano, Ria Savalia, Benjamin D'Angelo Fernandez. Olivia Dawn Stanamelio. Cyan Liana Fair. Emily Scottson. <laughs> Joseph Field. <laughs> Melody Sideros. Eduardo Flores. <laughs> Michael Cedric. Jimena Flores. <laughs> Marilyn Serrano. Fala Flavio. Sahana Shastri. Naomi Catherine Franco. Grace Shave. Michael Anthony Freza. Dia Shigahali. Oriana Fuentes Berrios. Bilal Siddiqui. Francisco Fuentes Jr. Ayush Sinha. Paris Galgano. Serene Sue. <laughs> Riley Aaron Gallagher. Jesse Siver. Brian Kimani Garcia Cortez. Asir Nassim Smith. Arlette Garcia. Emma Rose Smokovich. Brittany Maria Garcia Torres. Eva Sood. Kevin J. Gartz. Christian Soriano Guzman. Kirthana Gothaman. <laughs> Preston James Stewart IV. If there's a blank here, this one's here. Jennifer Clarita Gill. <laughs> Mata Rishnarathamangalam Subramaniam. Patrick Brennan Gill. Aiden Sudikov. Jacqueline Shea Glovich. Michael Cermic. 
Jeremy Goldstein. Troy Sweener. Brian Steve Gomez. Denise Tellis Quato. Esteban Gonzalez IV. Emily Tello. Abigail Elise Graff. Jessica Tello Velasquez. Alexander J. Granada. Maya Ter Akapov. Adam Joseph Greenspan. Joel Elijah Terry. Lacey J. Griffin. Jack Finn Thoman. Kimberly Lena Gross. Giselle Tiban. Adney Gupta. Lindsay Guadalupe Tacoxalaro. Owen Timothy Hugh. No. Daniel Torres. Yusuf Syed Hazmi. Martha Joyce Toscano. Gustavo Hernandez Bautista. Giuseppe S. Trenchina. Richard Hernandez Bautista. Jay Truola. Hugo Fierro Hernandez. Jonathan Trotman. Adolfo Hernandez Vasquez. Jamie Nicole Tuselli Sharp. Mahir Hingarani. Jacqueline Tyrell. Danielle Sarah Hoff. Daniels Vasquez. Sophia Hoare. Philip Vespia Kerwin. Thomas Hughes. Guillermo Victoria. Fred Jarowitz. Noemi Villanueva. Shalera Elizabeth Jefferson. Anthony Vangeli. Kiara Juarez Quiros. Cesar Vivas. Daphne Jude. Zamir Waller. Mark Kreptik. Dylan Michael Walsh. Milana Kershudian. Alyssa Michelle Wenrick. Michael Alexander Kosh. Hani Wiseman. Nicole Ann Bridget Kosh. Hunter Michael Wojtrowski. Jacqueline Glodochak. Kate Wildman. Adriana Kozovarosti. Pharrell Antonio Williams. Simon Korski. Michael Winslow. Amrick A. Krishna Kumar. Nicole Jade Wormold. Elizabeth Abby Kurz. Darius James Worsley. Samantha Kwok. Colin Nicholas Rosniak. I'm out. Justin Ewan. Manuel D. Younga. Isabella Ann Uris. Alexander Thomas Zemak. Last but not least, Scott Evans Wern. Please stand. Classmates, we are now officially alumni of Freeland High School. 
It's time for us to switch our tassels from left to right. Congratulations! I now invite parents and guests onto the field to join our celebration. Thank you.